Okay, with this one we're dealing with some wooden blocks and essentially we're dealing, there's some of these that deal with monkeys, some of these that deal with toddlers, but it doesn't really matter which one we're dealing with. The big thing is that they can place these blocks randomly and we're asked to determine what the probability is that those blocks will be arranged in alphabetical order or spelling some word. So in other words, order does matter. Not just they can place these blocks there, but we want them in a very, very precise order. All right, so it looks like we have, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five different blocks, okay? So we need to determine what order these need to be in. Okay, so we've got the first letter, second letter, third letter, all the way down to the fifth letter. And we want to know what's the probability that this toddler is going to place this block A first. Okay, so what's the probability? See, we have five of them here, and only one of them will go in this first slot. So the probability that the toddler will select the A is one in five. Okay, now, if we select that one, that means the second letter. What's the probability that this toddler is going to select the second letter? Well, the A is already gone. Okay, that's been, assuming they did this one correctly. The A has already been chosen, so now they have a probability. We only have four letters left. So we need a probability that it, the next one will be in alphabetical order. Okay, so it needs to be, let's see, alphabetical order would be F would be next. So what's the probability they're going to choose F from these four? One, two, three, four. So it would be one over four. And then, so we've got that one. Now we only have three left to choose from K, H, and P. The probability that they're going to select the correct one in alphabetical order there would be actually be one and three. The fourth letter would be one and two. And the fifth letter, by the time we select all of those, the only one left is going to be a P, assuming everything is selected correctly. So that's going to be one out of one. They've got to select that one correctly if all the other ones are done correctly. Okay, now we've calculated the probability of each one of them. Now what we need to do is calculate the probability that all of these are going to happen either at the exact same time or in order. Either way, it doesn't matter. It'll be the same calculation. So what we're going to do there is we're going to multiply all of these together, okay? So essentially what we're left with here is a 1 over 5 factorial. So we can just plug that one into our calculator as 1 over 5 factorial and determine what our answer is. 1 over 5 factorial is simply... 0 0.08333333. Now this one asks us to round it to the nearest seven decimals. So you'll notice this one is rounded to the nearest seven decimals. And that's that's pretty much it on this one. The big thing is if they had six letters and you're trying to spell a word, you're going to use the same process, okay? It'd be one over six times one over five times one over four times one over three, all the way down. Uh, the number doesn't matter, but it'd be one over whatever this factorial is in order to place them either in alphabetical order or to spell out a specific word.